Welcome everyone. Now we will acquire knowledge about the physiology of mass dat. So first of all, I will uh, discuss general about the mass dat term. The term mass dat literally means flesh or meat, but in Ayurveda it refers to the muscles of the body. It is one of the important component of our body. In the physical body, mass dat refer directly to the muscles and indirectly to the ligaments and skin which are upadatus formed as a unstable form of rakta datu is converted to mass datu so mass datu proper basically it cover the internal structure now we will discuss about the of the mass datu etymology or derivation how the mass datu word is derived Mass word is derived from the Sanskrit word man man with the context of the uh, in the context of to measure and from man man nyane with the context of to know a sensory organs are responsible for it to have knowledge and mass datu is the base for the sensory organ all the bodily organs which are measurable or cover with the mass that so it is about the vyutpatti of mass that now definition nirukti of the mass that sharirasya pushtikar avyachadak pesis nayavadi rupen sandibandha akonche prasanadikar datu mass na it means that mass datu is nothing by it is it um, it makes a person empty covers all his organ in various presentation like vessels tendons ligament and so on for the contraction and relaxation function so it means that mass datu along with the having a, along with having a function to cover the all the internal organ it also responsible for the providing the strength and as well as is also responsible for the exhibiting the contraction and relaxation function so this is a gross term about that now what are the synonyms of mass datu the synonyms of mass datu are pisitam tarasam maasam palalam kravyam amisha as per the amar kosh pisitam means pisyate iti the part made from the muscle tissue tarasam means the base of the strength maasam which can be measured palalam pal gato measure uh, means of movement kravyam the meaning of kravyam means the means of movement amisham which is derived from the mis sechan that means that place so it is uh, these are the synonyms of the now location so basically mass datu is present in uh, present in, in each and every aspect of the our body so the internal organ which basically cover by the mass datu but uh, as per the what uh, mass dara kala so the kala which uh, which separate the mass datu from the uh, ashe so it is the you know the covering it is the layer, covering a bound a bounding layer from the uh, from one datu to the other datu or, or datu to ashe so the mass dara kala means that it is the first uh, uh, the first kala is called mass dara kala this kala holds embedded in it the uh, networks and branches of sira snayus dhamnis srotas this kala is explained with a similarly the stack of the lotus flower sink deep in the mud and it branches to spread all around in the in in the surrounding area in the same pattern the sira damni snayu srotas by taking support of the kala spread and nourish the mass da so it is about the mass dara kala now properties of the ma properties of the mass da नाति सीतु गुरु स्निग्धम मास मजा दोषलम शरीर दातु सामान्यत नाभिशंदि गुरुनो मास दातु इज सिमिलर बाय प्रॉपर्टीज टू दैट ऑफ लैम नॉट वेरी कूल 
not very heavy and not very anxious belong to the mass da these are the properties of the mass da prama so what is the quantitative measurement that uh, of the mass dhatu in our body so i susru said that dosh dhatu malanam tu parimanam na vidyate so the stanza explain that no measure of mass dhatu is uh, mentioned in our uh, ancient scripture it means uh, it means it vary according to body constitution body structure and healthy disease status of the human being now functions of the mass dhatu so mass sharira pushtam medacha shreshth karm lep bal pushti medacha lep upade bite mruti kam mass anyatra nibandrane sirabi snayu bista astinya lambanam kruto na sharira padati va it means that the covering and protection is the main function of the mass dhatu providing strength uh, strength to the body and nourishment to the its ongoing and that or that is a main or additional function mass is a principal binder of sira snayu and so on and help the asdati for maintaining the body's posture it is therefore that strength of the body is sustained and it is stand up right these are the functions of the mass now physiology of the mass was rutas so mass was rutas means that the channel or pathway which carry or transport mass through it and the, the root core root of the mass was rutas uh, as per the charak vimansan they are the snayu and tok and as per the susrut so the root of the uh, mass was rutas are the mool of the uh, mass was rutas are snayu tocha and as well as the raktavai dam so they carry transport or the mass or where the uh, mass is present uh, predominantly or abundantly the formation of the mass dhatu how the mass dhatu take form in uh, in our body so how it is developed or derived in our body so actually as per the dhatu portion nay the mass dhatu is derived from the rakt dhatu so so there may be query may arise that how the stable solid mass dhatu is derived from the liquid rakt dhatu so this query has been solved by the charak so he explained in the charak sanhita that rust the essence of the food acquire redness from the color of the fire like pith the same acted upon by vayu aap tejas and cooked further attain solidity and thus convert into the mass dhatu so in this way mass dhatu is derived from the liquid rakt dhatu and converted in the form of this stable solid soft form now characteristic features of the mass sar pur what are the characteristic features that mass sar purus have so as per the charak viman stan the individual having excellent mass saratu uh, ex- uh, exhibit following uh, many uh, manifestation temporal part of human face uh, forehead uh, atlanto occipital joint eye cheeks chin neck shoulders abdomen axilla chest hand foot and joints are well covered with the nourished and heavy durable mass due to this excellency such people acquire quality to execute uh, to excuse others retaining power they feel no lust they have strength to earn they uh, they are educated educated they are soft spoken are healthy and achieve strength and long lived having a long lived life or having a long longevity in in them so as per the susrut what are the uh, characteristic future features of the massasar purush achitra gatram guda sandhi maso bichat maso upichita mase the bone joints are so well covered with the mass dhatu that they remain idle so these are the characteristic features of the massasar purush now what are the manifestation 
of mass vruti whenever the mass vruti is take place what are the signs symptom they are here so due to uh, or due to increase in mass dhatu increase and heaviness in uh, in these organs uh, the organs are observed so they are, so in the pelvic region cheek lips penis thigh uh, upper arms and groin so they uh, they become heavier and they get the excessive uh, growth so these are the uh, manifestation of the mass now manifestation of the shape of mass so whenever the mass the depletion of the mass is take place so this characteristic with the sign symptom may arise their marks as pink and dots to pass through vaksha uh, pindikodar griva sushta roksha roksha todo gatranam sadana dhamni shetilyam cha so 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 depletion or weakness or dryness in the pelvic region cheeks lips pelvic thigh chest axilla calf abdomen neck region that uh, in this region dryness may seen or the there is a the and there is a pain the uh, excessive pain may be uh, observed in this uh, place and there is a exhaustion the feeling of the exhaustion in the organ and the heart rate become loose so these are the characteristic features of the mass shape now we will discuss about the one of the basic concept of peshi so peshi is nothing but is a one of the part of the so it is the part made from the muscle tissue so we will uh, also discuss about the uh, detail about the peshi so first we will discuss how the mass term is derived the, the derivation the term peshi is uh, originated from the sanskrit root that word peace mass away it means that the part it is made from the muscle tissue na nirukti what is the, the nirukti of the peshi that is uh, mass away sangat paraspar vibhakt peshi iti uchyate so mass term in uh, in general described under sapta dhatu in compact form but when this differentiate get separated from each other is all as a peshi it means that the organelle of the mass dhatu is separated by the peshi now what is the importance of the peshi as per the sharang the mass peshi gives strength and is meant for non displacement of the soft tissue tissue which contract and relax is called as a kandal now as per the shushrut what is the importance of the uh, uh, peshi since sira snayu asti asti sandhi of body are covered by the peshi so they are more strong and support, uh, supported this means peshi is responsible to provide strength and protection while covering them so these are it is the importance of the peshi now we will discuss about the how the peshi is developed during the intrauterine life yatartho mushmana yukto vayu srotansi dharet anupravishyam pishitam peshi vibhajate tata so at the time of the uh, fetal development the vayu mahabhut along with ushma guna help to form the uh, different sources in our body and at the same time it by entering into the mass dhatu it by by the virtue of the differentiation separation it help to develop the peshi so it is about the peshi what is the conclusion about the mass and peshi that uh, uh, the mass is the body uh, it, it is the one of the body uh, part or it is one of the uh, important component uh, type uh, important component which makes a person happy covers all his organ in various presentation like vessel tendons ligament and so on for exhibition of contraction and relaxation movements and which mostly cover the internal organ now what is the peshi peshi is a part of the mass dhatu in gross manner having a particular shape and size when mass differentiate and get separated from each other is called as a 
basic it is by covering the asti sandhi sira snayu provides strength and protection so it is about the mass and peshi 